So this morning we're going to do some test cut videos. This is a model 480i described earlier. It's going to the customer for integration into a larger production line. As such, it does not have a table or a motor starter. So we have, as a temporary measure, borrowed from another machine, a table and a motor starter. This is a fixed table. Most of the time, this machine would have a traveling table or even a conveyor belt. This is a fixed table, so I'm going to have to slide my work pieces across the table to make the cut. And I've got just a magnetic starter mount on the back side as a, as a stopgap measure so I can run the thing safely. So I'm going to do this easy, medium, hard. Easy, I've got a big chunk of foam. I'll take a slice off it. Medium, I have a piece of uh, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene um, piping. It's a double wall corrugated piping. The actual wall thickness is about an eighth, maybe three sixteenths, but it's double thick. So I'll make a slice through that. That'll be interesting because I need a well, there's a risk it might want to spin as we cut it. You know, we've got a heavy chunk of plastic we'll try and cut if everything works out well. Um, so I'll bring, zoom the camera in a little bit, give you a better view of the cut process. That should do it. <coughs> Start the saw up. So for cuts like this, the blade is running left to right. So we have a guide edge here. And then because I like my fingers, I'm gonna use basically a pusher box to run it through. This should be gravy. Heavy, just bulky. So to no one's surprise, it can cut foam. We don't have any dust collection set up right now. So we're getting no surprise dust. So that's the easy one. Now we'll try something a little more challenging chunk of plastic. I'll try and take it down about through a rib here and like I said there's some risk it may try to spin. We'll see here what result we get. Really cool. Not the desired outcome, but really cool. I'm going to have to go find something non rounded and heavy to cut. 